What's up guys, welcome back to my channel. Hope you all have been doing good. Today I'm gonna walk you through how I edit concert photography while using a flash on my camera. I can get that nice, noisy, clean grain effect on your photos. Also attach a free preset in the description of this video. You guys can apply this to your photos, give it a shot. I find that the preset works best for when I'm doing concert photography with a flash. I believe my camera settings were at one over 250 for a shutter speed. Uh, my ISO was at 400. My f-stop was at 2.8, which is the lowest my lens can go. And my white balance, I just kept set to uh, daylight. I'm shooting on the a7 IV with a Sigma 24 by 70. I'm gonna go ahead and show you guys some examples on how you can use this preset. So I'm gonna select it here, it's called Flash Crunch. I'm just gonna double click it here. And now it doesn't fix the photo entirely. You have to do some work yourself. So what I'm gonna do is bump up the exposure a little bit. And we're gonna decrease some of the highlights here. I also had a Tiffin Pro Mist 1 4th filter on my camera. So it kind of smooths out those highlights, adds a little bit of a bloom to the photos. Mess with it until I get a point where I like it. I really want to be able to see everybody back here as well if I can. So I'm going to try and maybe bump up those shadows. A little bit of the blacks. Probably up the contrast a little bit. Take down those highlights a little bit more. You could even introduce some green into the photo. Maybe I'll bring down the tint just a little bit. I mean, that already looks you know, pretty good. With a little bit of vignetting here in the preset. Change it a little bit. I like the grain where it's at. Still retains the quality of the image. This photo is really cool too. I'm gonna go ahead and put the preset on here. I'm just gonna go mess with my settings a little bit here. Bring up the exposure. Bring up my shadows. Up the contrast a little bit. Bring down those highlights because we don't want their faces super bright. Uh, you know, you want them bright enough so you can see them. Keep it about right here. That looks pretty good to me. The awesome thing is, is if your photos look similar, you can just copy these settings and paste them onto your other photos. It'll speed up your workflow like crazy. You can copy the settings if you just go to a photo that you edited. So this one I've already edited. Right click it, develop settings, and just click copy settings. Keep all this selected. Go to another photo like this one. Develop, paste. You might have to tweak some things, you know, each photo might be different, but in a lot of cases you can use the same preset and just paste it across your photos. It'll save you tons of time. Again, I'm just going to apply the preset here. I'm going to go into my exposure, brighten everything up a little bit, turn down these highlights, up the contrast just a little bit, get those shadows. You see, you already have a pretty cool looking photo. I add a little green into it. Yeah, it just looks awesome. Zoom in and you can really see it still preserves the detail. You still have a bit of grain in the photo. You know, when you zoom in here, you can really see it. But it just, it looks great. Sometimes when you're editing photos, there's this option under lens correction called enable profile corrections. You can see if I enable it, it kind of changes the outer edges of the photo. Now it automatically detects my camera, so it puts this on uh, normally by default. I find that deselecting it actually is better sometimes. So in this case, I actually like it better because it kind of helps add a vignette and bring your focus into the subject. So just keep that in mind while you're editing your photos as well. Another great trick is to use vignetting, which is already built into this preset to draw your attention to the subject. So in this case, if I take the vignette away, this is no vignette at all. If you want to maybe just shrink in the corners of the image around here, we can just add in a little bit of a vignette. And so it darkens the corners and it really just puts the focus on the center subject. Thanks for watching guys. I hope you enjoyed this preset. Let me know if it helped you guys I think taking advantage of these Lightroom presets is great because it speeds up your workflow And there's nothing wrong with speeding up your workflow and using presets I will say that learning how to do these changes by yourself from the ground up is certainly better than just slapping presets on your photos But for the case of this video, I wanted to make a resource for you guys that would be way easier uh, and way quicker. So I implore you to try things out and color grading inside of Lightroom, mess with all these settings that I briefly went over with you guys. I really appreciate all the newcomers to my channel. Uh, you guys are awesome. I'm really just trying to build a community here on the channel and just get to know everybody. So thanks for watching guys. Consider liking and subscribing. I'll see you in the next video. Peace.